Hey everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing of IEW's Structure and Style for Students Year 1 Level C. Level C is for high school, and this is year one of two. So we're going to take a look in here. So I have only seen the samples of this. I haven't even seen another YouTuber's flip through of this. So I'm excited to get my hands on it. You guys know that I love IEW and there's a sticker. And so we will be doing this with my high schooler. So there's a sneak peek into our curriculum choices, I guess, huh? Okay. All right. So this card has my little code on it to access the videos. Then this card just tells me about the program. Okay, and then here we have, ooh, this is a honkin' student binder. Oh, it has a teacher gun in there too. I was like, wow, it's heavy. Okay, so this should have the teacher guide in here too. And the student notebook. So, let me pull this out. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so yes, we have the student packet and the teacher's manual. And you get the handy dandy binder with the tabs, source text, model charts and outlines, work in process, finished compositions, stylistic techniques, band words, punctuation and usage, and documentation. And then there's a blank little book in here. So this this pretty much looks the same as level A, if I do remember correctly. Now let's take a look at the teacher guide and then I'll open up the student packet. So the student packet will essentially go in that binder and the DVDs are, well, you can get DVDs or you can get online streaming. I have online streaming and Andrew Pudwa teaches the lessons to the kids and he's teaching it to a real class. They just redid this entire program. So these are like newly updated with like actual kids from, you know, 2020 or so versus, you know, a long time ago, like his other ones were. So it is definitely more relevant. And um, that's why they can have it streaming now where at the last edition they couldn't have it streaming because it was too old and they couldn't convert it or something. There was a, there was a reason, something like that. They couldn't convert it. Anyway, I'm glad to have a streaming option. Whenever I can get something streaming, I want it streaming. I don't, I lose the DVDs. So we've got this blue page, which has again, a code on it to access some downloads. And then here is the table of contents. I'll zoom in a little bit. So we've got you know, okay, so if you're not familiar with um, IEW, no matter which IEW program you are using, it's going to have the same units, okay? So whether you're teaching first graders or 12th graders, you're teaching them the same units. Now in first grade, you just don't go through all nine units. Um, and even in the level A, I think you only go through the first seven units. Now I'm forgetting. Hmm. Well, watch my video on level A if I said that right or not. But um, obviously in uh, high school, you go through all nine units. So let me tell you what those are. You know what? Note making and outlines. Unit two, writing from notes. Unit three, retelling narrative stories. Unit four, summarizing a reference. Unit five, writing from pictures. Unit six, summarizing multiple references. You can't see that. Okay, let me move this over. Unit seven, inventive writing. Unit eight, formal essay models. Unit nine, formal critique. Okay. And then we have response to literature as well for weeks 22, 23, and 24. Mm, okay. I, I really am interested in all the literature that we have here. I don't actually know what it is. So, I mean, okay, let me clarify that. Literature does not come with this. Literature is recommended in this. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. So it lays out the, you know, supplies you'll need. It recommends to do fix it grammar along with it. Um, and here we go. This is what I was looking for. Okay. The scope and sequence is online. So just in case you want to go online, you can download this. 
but I didn't pay much attention to the literature selections. Okay, the Wida, a pirate ship feared, wrecked, and found. I'm just looking at the literature here. A Man for All Seasons, A Plane to Axe, Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Julius Caesar, Around the World in 80 Days, uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Treasure Island, The Princess Bride. Optionally, watch the movie. Okay, so that's it. Good. And then it tells you for week one, we're going to be doing two, three, four, five, six, and so on, all the way to 24. So how I actually plan to do this is 12 weeks per semester. Obviously semesters are longer than 12 weeks. However, that means, you know, you just do it up until like Thanksgiving, then you don't have to worry about it through, you know, the new year and then pick it up after that. That's what I plan to do. I also plan to try to uh, do it with some friends. I'll be leading it, but I have invited all of the homeschooled high schoolers we know to join us once a week for class because that's more fun for my daughter and teenagers love snacks. So you get snacks involved and they wanna come. And snacks and friends make school more fun. See, I've learned this along along the way. I've, I have have one who's already, um, or two who are already adults and one was homeschooled from sixth grade on until her graduation and the other one went to school but the homeschooled one who just graduated she um you know I learned some things and snacks and friends make school more fun for high schoolers so plan to hopefully have some other kiddos besides my own daughter to teach this to and here we have um a daily breakdown or like how to adapt this for homeschool, a one day a week program, which is kind of what I would be aiming for uh, myself. And then um, two or three day a week and four or five day a week. And so basically um, you can structure your class time if you do this in a co-op setting, um, you know, using these different models or you can just use it at home with just you and your child. Um, and really um, they can pretty much do these lessons on their own. Okay, so you see here, week one, this is laid out in exactly the same way. I'm seeing this right off the bat as level A, which I assumed it would be, but it tells you um, any teacher prep you need to do here. And so it says, watch teaching, writing, structure, and style, second edition, video one. And I do have teaching, writing, structure, and style. And this is for you, the, the parent, the teacher, okay? And then the literature suggestion is right here. And then they're going to refer to their papers in week 24. So in other words, don't lose them. And then we have um, goals, a oh, suggested daily breakdown, which I like too. So um, days four and five are always together. And so really I consider this like a four day a week program, but you can actually smoosh it into two days if you want to, because the video you're watching part one and then part two. And so, you can smoosh days one and day two together. So anyway, and then it does have a copy of the board notes, which is very nice. And then it gives you the teacher hints, talks about public speaking, gives you definitions. Okay, and then these yellow papers are a copy of what the students will have. Okay, I know my last video, this threw some people off like, it's not for duplication part. Let's just open up the student sheets and see if it says not for duplication on the student sheets. I can't remember if it does in level A, but I just remember that being an issue and people are like, why does it say that? So let's find out. Ta-da! Okay, so let me go. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, see, it doesn't say that on the student sheet. Okay, I didn't think so, but I just remember that being a thing. So yeah, this is just the parent guide that it says this. Now, in the student book, in level A, it actually did give permission to copy it for your own family. Let's see what it says here. Uh, home use. 
The purchaser may copy the student book for multiple children within his or her immediate family. Each family must purchase its own student book. Small group or co-op classes, each participating student or family is required to purchase a student book. A, a teacher may not copy from the student book. So in other words, if I had more than one high schooler, which crazily enough, I don't this year, but if I did, I could copy this for all of my high schoolers. But since I'm planning to teach this to a group of children that don't all belong to me, then they need to purchase their own student books. So that's how that works. Okay, um, but they don't have to purchase the whole program. They just need to get their own student books, which is only like $29, a fabulous deal in my opinion. And that family could then copy it for all their teenagers. So then we've got week two with the literature suggestion, what to watch on teaching writing structure and style, board notes, all these yellow papers are copies of what the student will have, the handouts for the students. And it just goes on like that throughout the entire thing. And then, oh, I'll show you the back. Okay, so we've got response to literature word list back here. Okay, let me go week 24. Got a little certificate. I just love certificates. I've mentioned this before. Certificates just make, you know, just love a certificate. Okay, so that is the teacher book and then the student book. It's gonna look very similar. We've got the scope and sequence here. Okay, so let me go to week two. Okay. Now, it says a new vocabulary here, it tells you your goals. Okay, and I just wanted to see, I was just checking to see if it tells you what to read. Like, I, I don't think it does because it's optional. It does tell you, you know, do optional day one and fix it grammar week four. It doesn't say which book. It just says so you could do whatever book you're on. Oh, here is what the checklist look like. These are what you use to grade. So those are awesome. And if you're part of their membership thingamajig, you can make your own checklist, which is kind of nice and take things out or add things in. Okay. So here they have an excerpt from Tom Sawyer, but it recommends you read the whole thing. But of course you don't have to, you don't have to do the literature. It just will tie in nicely. Now, let me check. I wanna look at the Literary analysis part. Okay, so it like gives you some games, play simulation shenanigans along with the class. They're writing an essay. Okay, well I'll have to dive deeper into this, but from the looks of it, it looks just like level A where the literature is not required. It is just a recommendation. Timed essay. Oh, my daughter, my other daughter, not this daughter, my other daughter who just graduated, she went to a IEW um, like seminar at the homeschool conference and they did this. They did a timed essay at the beginning of the class and then another one at the end of the seminar to see how they improved. Anyway, it was a very highly beneficial seminar she talks about that in a video we did together, like one of the most important things she felt like she did in high school to prepare her for college was that IEW seminar. So anyway, um, this is also fantastic because when they are taking college placement tests, they have to write an essay on the computer and 
my other daughter did that did that at the end of her 10th grade year and this daughter who will be using this will be in 10th grade and she'll be doing the same thing most likely at the end of this year taking the college uh, placement test for dual enrollment purposes for 11th and 12th grade so it's that's why I really wanted to focus on writing this here because she'll need that Okay, so that's it. Um, again, this is just kind of a, my initial reactions and obviously as I go through it more, I'll be able to give you more details, but if you have any questions, let me know. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool. And I'm going to put an affiliate link down below. I really appreciate you using my affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything, but I do get a little commission if you do choose to purchase IEW products. And I have lots of videos on IEW from kindergarten all the way through high school. So I'll link that playlist down below too. So if you wanna see all that IEW has to offer, I pretty much have a video on it. Not quite all, but most. <laughs> okay, thanks so much and have a blessed day.